The Tosca test case design add-in helps organize and optimize test cases by providing a structured approach to maximizing test coverage and reducing redundancy. It facilitates the creation, management and instantiation of test cases and requires a valid license as part of the Tricentis Tosca installation. Now, if you look in the Tricentis Tosca manual, this is just some random manual I found, right? Um, you can search for it by using like test case design example, Tricentis Tosca documentation as your search term. And I'll basically, I'm going to read it out to you, right? This chapter provides a practice example of how to build a test case design test sheet. I just created one to help you create structured test cases for the different pricing models of mobile phone plans. And this example is going to use linear expansion, okay, as the combinatorial method. So suppose you have a mobile operator offers four base pricing models, mini standard, flat and prepaid. Well, suppose further that the charges are calculated with a tiered pricing scheme with per minute fees charged for the following monthly call durations. So these are like equivalence partitions and this is where your boundary value analysis stuff would come in where you could do like 99 minutes, 100 minutes and 101 minutes. So this is the partition. 1 to 100 minutes, 101 minutes to 200 minutes, 201 to 500, and 501 to 1,000 minutes for those people who can't keep their mouth shut and uh, talk nonsense all day. And then 1,000 minutes and more for, well, quite frankly, middle-aged women who have nothing to do. Now, suppose, lastly, that the charges for text messages are also calculated with a tiered pricing system with per message fees charged for the following number of monthly messages. And it's the usual. 1 to 100, 200, 500, 1,000, and, you know, 1,001 messages per month. If you want to organize and structure your tests, you create that test sheet in test case design with the attributes, base, minutes, and messages. Okay? So... We have, we have subscribe, okay? Let's follow the example and call it mobile. Mobile. Subscribe. <laughs> like, share. <laughs> okay? And now we'll create, what we create in here? Um, create attribute, all right? And if we go back here, where is it? Uh, create attributes, base, minutes, and messages, okay? Well, we can actually take this stuff here, right? And we'll call this... Okay, so we've got the, the sheet. Then we create uh, an attribute. We're going to call it base. And then we're going to create one called mini, right? Just create an instance called mini. That's create instances from values. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Mini. Standard and flat rate. There is a way to do this by copying and pasting from the clipboard. I'll leave that up to the viewer as an exercise. So now we have, similar to what's in the picture, apart from a request to subscribe, like, and share. We've got our instance, base instances, you see? Base instances, mini, standard, flat rate, prepaid. Okay. Now, let's go back to it. So, since the pricing structure for minutes and messages per month are the same, you can minimize redundancy by creating a class to which both of the attributes, minutes and attribute messages, refer. So right-click in your test case design folder and say create class and name it amount. Okay. Create the following instances for your class. So we're going to have to, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Like that. Zero. 
one to ninety nine and a hundred. One to ninety nine. A hundred. I'm not doing the rest of them. And drag and drop the class amount onto the test sheet mobile. Okay. See the way it points back? So we have mobile, base. Okay. Mobile and base. And then amount. Or we call it minutes. Like that. Okay. Now both the class references, minutes and messages, now contain the instances from the class amount. So you can change the character of the instance uh, less than zero to invalid to reflect that it is not possible to have a negative number of minutes or of messages minutes or messages and you can change the instance character via the toggle character button on the ribbon menu or by changing the character value of the instance in the properties pane so let's look at the toggle button shall we yeah it's up here right all right there you go character invalid Okay, and you can change the position of the instances of the 0, 100, 200, 500 to boundary values since they represent the boundaries between the different pricing tiers. And you can change the instance position via the toggle position button in the ribbon menu or by changing the position value instances in the properties pane. Okay, so what are we looking for? 0, 100. I got 100, okay. So what do we do? Toggle position, okay? On the right-hand side here, change the boundary, okay? So go back and we click toggle position. Now it's an inner position, and now it's back to a boundary position, which is what we wanted, okay? So you can change the character of the sta instance standard within the attribute base to straight through. And this reflects that the standard plan is the most commonly sold plan and carries the largest risk in case of failure. So this is your steel thread through your application. Okay? This is the basic stuff that has to work. Do you understand that? I'm sure you do, right? Now you can change the instance character via the toggle character button on the ribbon menu, or by changing the character value instance in the properties pane. I didn't do it, but in the class amount, you can change the 1 to 99 to straight through. Uh, you can right click on the test sheet, and then select Generate Instances Linear Expansion, okay? And it'll generate test cases for you. So that's it, test case design in a nutshell. Uh, one of you in the Telegram channel asked me for a short video to go through uh, how it hangs together. And that's it. Let me know if you want any more information. Cheers. Bye-bye.